over the holidays, they like to show, uh, you know, Christmas movies all the time. And I know on TBS, you know, like I think Christmas Eve to Christmas Day, they like to show this movie called A Christmas Story. I happen to have bought this from uh, Goodwill for two bucks. And, uh, well, in the movie, he wanted a BB gun, and it was called the Red Rider BB gun. It supposedly had carbine action. It was 200 shot range model compass and sun dial in the stock. Well, uh, uh, right now I have is the Red Rider BB gun, and this one is way different than the movie. Um, I believe this is how it was when this first came out in like uh, 1940, but it doesn't have that sundial or compass on it, like it said in the movie. Um, that one was a, supposedly a different model by Daisy. It was called the Buck Jones. I have a picture of that one. Um, I have to load up on my phone here. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, this one? Okay. It looked something like uh, this. If it, maybe I'll turn my phone horizontally. Okay. It looked like this. <coughs> it's it's like a pump action uh, BB gun. Yeah. There's the sundial and here's the compass. And that's called the Buck Jones. Um, I'm not sure if this one's actually made anymore. But it's named for a famous western star by, uh, by the same name. Well, anyways, uh, I, got, I got the Red Rider here. And it has the lever action. It's made by Daisy. I won't uh, cock it, but that's how you would cock it. And it's, uh, I think it's kind of based off a Winchester rifle. Um, like what they used in the Old West. I have a picture of that one as well on my phone. Um, well, this is the part that I really like about this gun is this engraving. And uh, Red Rider, I think, was a, was in the comic strips. Um, you know, in the 1938, I think, when they appeared in there. And I think they ended in the 60s or something like that. I bought this mainly because of the movie. I think I paid like $25 or so from Walmart. I think there's a lot of difference in the description of the movie as well, other than the sundial. Um, here's your sight right here. And it's also the other one right here. A lot of these guns, these BB guns, they look real. Is So if you were to brandish one in public, someone might call the cops on you. And if that happens, you you got to put your gun down, otherwise they, they might shoot you. Because you, you can't really tell if this is a real gun or not. Because you know, there's nothing really to tell other than maybe uh, this here. I, I don't think anybody could see that. But I don't think real guns rattle like that. And they, they make handguns and stuff that look very realistic. Um, okay, so I, I got some information from Daisy on this gun. Oh yeah, I was going to show the Winchester rifle. Let's see. Um, whoop. This one's a little different than my last one, so it's hard to figure out where everything is. Okay, so this is a, a Winchester rifle. I'm not sure what specific one this is based off. This closely kind of resembles it. Okay, and I'll show you some uh, information uh, from the Daisy website. <coughs> I'll, I think I'll read it for you. <coughs> Let's see. Ah, oh, here it is. Okay. The most popular BB gun in the world remains faithful to the original design from the pages of the comic books to the famous holiday motion picture. A Daisy Red Rider has been the dream of use since its introduction in 1940. Over the years, the Daisy Red Rider achieved legendary status with its solid wood stock and forearm uh, learnt ring with the leather saddle thong. Uh, today's Daisy Red Rider is the spitting image of one you cherish growing up. The Daisy Red Rider is recommended for ages 10 and older with adult supervision. Here's some specs on it. It weighs like 220 pounds action it's lever cocking air spring or spring air uh, sights are blade and ramp um, they're adjustable I believe it does say adjustable front adjustable open and rear 
crossbow trigger block. Um, 350 feet per second is the max muzzle velocity. Um, overall length is 35.4 inches. Caliber of the BBs is 0.77 caliber and a four and a half millimeters. Um, stock stained w solid wood, smooth bore steel. Uh, max shooting distance 195 yards, capacity 650 shots. Like I said, I think the movie one said it was like 200 or so, so I don't think they may have changed it. Stamped metal saddle ring with leather thong. I did have that leather thong, but I don't know where that went. I tried looking for it. I also have the manual for this on my phone. I have to look that up. It's in a different place because um, I downloaded it. Okay, here it is. Uh, <laughs> This manual is actually, <coughs> excuse me, shows like two different guns. Um, let's see, that's in, I don't think that's it. Exact one. It's at the beginning here. I think you're supposed to treat this like as if it was real gun. Um, say point it, you know, in a safe direction. I think up or down is sometimes how people point it. Um, it might say in the manual. You should always read manual on stuff. It says. Keep, always keep the muzzle pointed in a safe direction. That treat every gun as if were loaded. Only load or cock a gun when you are shooting. Check your target and beyond your target. Eh, you gotta make sure there's no people around you. Uh, anyone shooting or or near shooter should wear shooting glasses. Um, I actually did have a ricochet hit me, but it was on the head, and I was wearing a hat that day, so not, I didn't get hurt. Never climb or jump with a gun. You could probably accidentally shoot it someplace. Um, avoid ricochet. Um, I think if you hit, it says never shoot a flat hard surface or at the surface of water. Ammunition can ricochet off the water just like Skip Drock. Um, in that movie he was shooting at like a metal sign so that's probably why it ricocheted. Keep the muzzle clear. Never let anything obstruct the muzzle of a gun. Don't allow the muzzle to come in contact with the ground. Guns not in use should always be unloaded which I for some reason don't unloaded. I'm, I'm not sure if everybody does but it's a BB gun. You know, I probably should though. Respect other people's property. Shooting or hunting if you're a guest on Others land, you should leave exactly as you found it. Now let's see if I can find up. Oh, here it is. Um, let's see which one is okay. Here it is. Description of everything: um, muzzle, uh, the loading door. Um, the loading door on mine actually broke off a while. It, it broke. Uh, it doesn't shut. And I remember, um, I remember finding a lot of BBs on my uh, floor. And the reason for that is that door wouldn't stay shut anyway, so it, it did break after a while. So I just put some uh, electrical tape on there, and you know it doesn't really look that bad. Kind of gives it a little more character. It has an oiling hole. Um, that's called the forearm <coughs> trigger. Trigger safety, cocking lever, stock, and adjustable rear sight. We'll, we'll take a look at the gun again. There we go. And here's this uh, little uh, safety button. <coughs> okay, turn it around this way. That's how you know it's ready to go. If you can see it, that little red. And if it's red, that means it it's ready to go. You should uh, when you're not using it, you always put turn the safety off, whether if it's loaded or unloaded, because you know you can't tell if these guns are loaded. Sometimes you you might have a BB in in there and, and not even notice. I think that's what happens with real guns too. People are stupid. Don't point it in your face. Um, I think in the movie it showed like he used to load it in the top here. I don't know if that's how, it's, oh, that's how it was but in the movie that's what it looked like. But I think it had a storage hole for uh, I think for storing BBs but I'm not 100% sure if that's what it was for. There was nothing inside it. Um, I, did, I put some BBs in there, but um, really I think they would fall off because there was a little cap here. And I took that off because that would always fall off. Um, yeah, there's some wear and tear on this. As you can see, uh, this little marking right here, I think I spilled something on it. I don't know 
if I can cock it or shoot anything down here. I'm in the basement, but um, I don't know. I, I shot it sometimes in the basement at, you know, boxes and stuff. But, um, well, when I was, uh, I, a couple times I shot out the windows on my garage because, uh, you know, a few days later we were going to rip it down anyway, so it didn't matter. You got all the junk out and just started shooting up the windows. <coughs> it was kind of fun. Um, stuff I would shoot with this, it was usually pop cans. I think I tried shooting army men, but they're too small and hard to shoot. But, you know, pop cans I've shot. I built a snowman and put, like, a, a code red Mountain Dew in it. You know, just to see if it would, you know, it was open, though. Just to see if it would, uh you know, ooze out and make it look like blood. You know, that would have been cool, but it didn't work. Um, a lot of times I use stale cans, you know, if the pop is old. Um, some pops last longer than others. I think colas don't. But it's a nice gun. Um, a lot of times around Christmas time they have these down the uh, main aisles in the toy department area because, well, at least at Walmart they do, because the toys and sporting goods are right next door. Um, some stores, they keep these unlocked, so they, they just have them in the box and uh, on a display or something. Um, this Walmart I went to, um, I live in Illinois, I don't know if they are really restrictive on, gut, on uh, BB guns, but some stores, some of the Walmarts in my area have everything locked up, so you can't uh, really take them out. I can show you some of the BBs, but yeah, this is, this is the reason... Yeah, this is the chute you loaded in, but I, I blocked it over with a tape for that, for the reason that it, you know, would open. I'm going to pause for a second and show you the BBs I got for it. So I brought down my BBs, but I also brought down my other airsoft uh, gun. Um, we'll look at the BBs I got. I think I had another uh, case or something, or a package of BBs, but it was a Daisy brand BBs I was using. But then I uh, filled it up in this thing. It's a 500 airsoft ammo. That's a little plastic pellet. But these are what I bought originally with these little stainless steel ones. Real small. Um, probably can't see it because of my thumb. Real small. I never shot animals or anything with them. You know, because I don't like to shoot living things like that. Okay, and these are the other brand I use. I think I bought this in Indiana. I think these were made in USA. And I think those were made in China. So that's kind of sold me on this. I think these are actually copper. <coughs> um, I think some of these packaging is, you know, kind of hard to actually fill the gun with. See those little copper BBs? Um, that's the reason why I put, put it in this old one. Worked out pretty good. Um, well, I also brought down my, like I said, my airsoft pistol. Um, some of those they use uh, like CO2 or something. I didn't buy those because, you know, that's another expense I would have to figure in. Um, I think they have other ones that don't don't use that. And this one actually uses batteries. I bought this from Kmart. They had a sale. Um, this used, uh, it uses the plastic one. Oop. Trying to get the cover back on that. But use this plastic release. <laughs> <coughs> this is what I got. Two thousand. No plastic. This gun, I I don't think is as powerful as the Red Rider. Uh, I can shoot it off in here. And you can hear that ricochet around. I don't know where I shot, but um, it has uh, two functions it, or two settings: it's single or auto. So it becomes more like a assault rifle. So you know you pull the trigger and it'll keep firing. And uh, I don't know. I usually keep on there because then I, you know, have uh, a bunch of BBs in there. I don't have to waste a whole bunch. But uh, this gun, it takes batteries. I think triple A's, four triple A's. Um, I actually I broke the little latch that holds the battery compartment in place. <laughs> so I use. Originally I used tape, but today, you know, I took this out and, you know, to look at it and it wouldn't come on. I opened it, the batteries were good, but then, you know, I thought maybe I'd put, <coughs> <coughs> maybe I'd put, uh, uh, these rubber bands on it. And it does a pretty w good job of it. Yeah. And this actually has a, a laser pointer on it. 
you know, so you can see what you're shooting. It doesn't work on the day, so if you're shooting at night or something, or, you know, dusk, whatever. And, and it does have backup bullets, or BBs in here. Uh, this little thing, you can put this little cartridge, you can put, uh, you know, your extras in there. And, oop. Yeah. Pour on, oops. Where'd it go? And you can pour it back into your gun when you're ready to reload. Um, I think both of these guns you're not supposed to actually reuse the BBs, so because I guess some residue and stuff gets on there. I think one of my guns, the Red Rider, actually got jammed. Uh, got jammed one day, and I had to stick something in there to unjam it, but it works now. Um, I, I would use this in the summer because uh, I have uh, two bushes on each side of my house so that uh, you know people can't see and then the be people that live behind me um, they have a wood fence they can't even they don't even come out so it doesn't matter if and they can't even see me so that's why it's good to do it in the summer otherwise if someone sees you they, they may think you have a real gun or something But I haven't I haven't used these in a while. I don't know why. You know they're kind of fun to do. Um, I, I did want to plan a day, and uh, you know go out to my grandma's old farm. We never did that. We were gonna uh, shoot at stuff like uh, cans and stuff. You know, it's a fun thing to do. But uh, yeah, so I think that's everything about this gun that I could think of. Um, okay, um, that's about it. Check my notes. Looks like that's all. All there is. Um, happy holidays and a merry Christmas. Uh, you can like, subscribe, sh share my video if you liked it. And yeah, there's the gun again. And that's it. <coughs>